there. This is Coach Monica with the Grace and Strength Lifestyle, and this afternoon I have the wonderful opportunity of being able to record a graduation video um, for Darlene, who lives out in Missouri. Darlene, hello. I'm so excited for you. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> amen. Amen. So, okay, this is what everyone wants to know. Everyone wants to know how did it go okay was it easy was it hard give us all the ins and outs darling tell us about everything oh my <laughs> um it's not easy that's for sure there you know it's not easy is it the hardest thing i've ever done it's very close it's very close um i think that even now it's harder because you know, um, the cabinet doors are open, so to speak, you know, and there's more to choose from. And, you know, you, you still see these other foods, but um, the hardest part, of course, is starting. I think you have to, you have to be ready. And um, then there's, there's always temptation. There's people, you know, saying that you're being ridiculous on what you're eating or that you're not eating this and um, but then they begin to watch you and especially when you maintain when you're when you stay with it when they're expecting I think sometimes they expect you to oh let's see if she eats that and when you don't I think it kind of blows them away you know I love that darling so okay Everybody will want to know, Darlene, um, how did you even hear about Grace and Strength? And what did your success look like? Not only physical, like inches lost and all that good stuff, but obviously there must have been something else happening and changing too within you. Let's hear about that. Okay. I learned about Grace and Strength through uh, someone that worked for us was uh, telling my husband all about how his wife, Anna, uh, was the administrator and um, so I it took me a while but then I you know the phone call was made and um, I, that's how I started and um, I forget the other part of the question actually <laughs> after that but. I was asking you obviously you've had physical success right you've lost quite a few pounds and inches so everyone will want to know are you willing to share that how many pounds how many inches sister let's celebrate i lost over 69 inches and i've lost 92 pounds that's yeah amazing it's, that's like a, another little person you know i can't believe it i everybody's like well you didn't have that much to lose obviously i did <laughs> Pray you know? God. Ugh. Yeah. That is so what I gained. Uh, what I gained from, from this, though, is is you know I went after it for the weight loss, but it's the gain that you get, which is uh, spiritual, and it's, it's a connection or a reconnection with yourself. I think because you know as a woman we're so busy and we get bogged down and we kind of lose sight i think of ourselves and this kind of brought all that back you know who i am and who i'm supposed to be and um it was a major gain and a major loss that's what i'll say that is so good you know darlene having been with you throughout this journey i have seen just such a blossoming of your spirit and you know what you were a strong soul sister before this you were a strong soul sister during it and you are even a stronger soul sister now moving into alumni i mean today is graduation day you know and you have been maintaining your weight for some time so tell us about the maintaining part mm -hmm. You froze up. <laughs> uh, can you hear me now? <laughs> uh, yeah, you were frozen there for a minute. <laughs> I hope um, it was a different you know, I, <laughs> <laughs> I do see how I, because I remember I didn't want to share things. 
in the beginning and now it's like I'll share and share and share and there's been a big there's been a big change in in me and um, it's all for the best it's and for the better and um, you know my prayer I prayed probably for a year before I started this program, more of you and less of me, God. And I didn't, when I prayed it, I wasn't actually thinking physical at that time because I knew I needed more and I wanted more of him. And, you know, it's all in his time. And then he just brought it all together and at the same time. And um, he's faithful because he delivered on both of those, you know. Now tell all of our listeners more about the Bible study. You were very diligent as far as attending your meetings and being present and being active. Tell us about the homework and all of that that came with it as far as your study habits and things like that. Well, um, I love to study the Bible. I love to read the Bible. And at first, it, you know, it's just like you get this blockage or whatever. And so you're reading and it's like, yeah, well, nothing's happening, you know. But because we're given, we're given that, you know, to meditate daily on a certain passage. And so you go back the next day and, you know, from, and I can only speak for myself. But, you know, and it's like, oh, okay, now something's happening. And each day as you read it, for me, then it would be like, wow, and so many times I would have a major wow moment or um, that passage lead me to another that I needed in a deeper way. And um, as far as memorizing uh, scripture, I know, you know, I cannot do that. I can certainly tell someone in my words what, <laughs> what it says. Uh, maybe you can't point it exactly where it's at, but... Um, when I hear it, of course, then I recall it, but I can't, you know, quote anything. But it was the getting into the word daily. And if you do it daily, then you're just drawn. And that's what it did for me. It drew me, just drew me. And um, that's what I needed. That's to awesome. Drawn deeper. That is wonderful. You know, I enjoy the meetings because it's, it's our time. You know, it's our time to come together no matter where we are in the world, we come together and for that moment we're together and we're united. We are reading the word. We're encouraging one another. We're staying sharp. I mean, I long for those nights, you know, um, and, and I know, darling, with you having such high attendance, you have seen many ladies come and go, <clears throat> but what a beautiful season it has been for you to grow deep, deep roots in the word. Praise God. So now, one last question, darling. I want you to really consider um, that there might be someone listening who thinks, well, that worked for Darlene. That's great for her. Um, I want you to speak to that woman right now uh, who maybe just doesn't believe that this is for her or doesn't think that she'll ever break the chains. Um, and that she is bound to her obesity. I want you to take the, just a chance to be able to speak with her right now, Darlene. What I would say is this, if you, if you seek God on the issue of your obesity or your overweightness, he will bring forth the answer that you need. And he will bring you, if you ask him, to the program that you need when it's your time, when you're ready. Because you have to be ready or you will fail. And that's just another broken piece of your heart that needs, because grace and strength isn't just about losing weight. That's, that's how it, I'm sure every woman, I know I did, that's how I approached it. And the Bible study was like, oh yeah, okay, but I'm gonna lose weight. But once you get into it, you know, you get into it. And you, you have to be ready, though. You truly, that, that's, that's what I would tell you. You have to be ready or nothing is going to work for you. If, if your heart is not ready, and you have to be ready to heal because there's issues. You're not obese just because you like food. 
you have issues. And I would stand and I told Coach Monica, I don't know, you might have had an issue, but I don't have an issue, you know, with food. I'm not addicted to food, but, you know, of course, I had issues <laughs> with food. And you have to come to terms with yourself and you have to be honest to yourself before any program is going to work for you. But I will tell you, somebody that's tried them all and bought every book on the shelf of how to eat right, this is the only one that ever worked and still works. And this is the only one that I truly felt God placed me into. Everything else was me. Yes. Oh, I can relate to that, Sister. Amen. <laughs> you know, Darlene, um, I know just from having been with you over this last, you know, almost a year, you know, um, where you've gone through a lot, you know, through your family, through your physical health, and just all, all sorts of things have come your way. And um, God is so faithful that even in those difficult times, I have seen your ability to withstand because you have chosen to hide in that cleft that the Lord has made for you. And I want to continue um, to just, you know, encourage you that even in alumni and beyond, sister, that you will remember the tools that you have learned. And not only that, but it helps me to use those tools to encourage others because it helps you remain faithful and strong yourself. But don't ever forget this moment because this is definitely one of those beautiful moments in life where you can literally sit right here, look back and go, wow, he has really taken me through some storm. And now the clouds have um, dissipated and the rainbow is sharing it's just it's all over it's it's just for everyone to see sister for his glory so i just want to say congratulations darlene you have done an amazing job it is not easy you are 100 percent accurate with that but it is so worth it right yes it is amen all right darlene well you have a wonderful rest of the day and i will be seeing you in alumni sister all right, bye.